Hello everyone. This was meant to be... Helps when I have a microphone in my face, doesn't it? Jesus Christ. As I was attempting to say, this was meant to be episode 14 of The Journeyman, but due to Windows updating and disconnecting my microphone and I didn't notice till I finished recording the episode, this will be episode 13. So today we're going to go over a recap of what happened in the two games I previously recorded, the one game before that, and then we'll get to today's two games. This is a quite average gamer, my name is Duncan, welcome back to The Journeyman. So, welcome in, and this is stuff that I've already spoke about, but you haven't heard. So, the game we played was initially meant to be off-camera. The only game that's meant to be off-camera was against Barry Town. As you can see, they went 1-0 up with a penalty before Kane McLagan got his first and potentially only goal of the season. Yeah. So, he came in, he got the equalizer for us. Most of the team played... Uh, average at best, I'd probably say... Cameron and Llewellyn has been pretty poor the last few games, and I have just kind of dug him up for that. But we'll move on. We picked up a point against a team that we were expected to lose against. We moved on. We then came into the game against Carnarfon, where in the last, I'd seen, like 10, 60 minutes of the game, we just gave away two goals. To be honest, the first goal, if I remember right, was pretty well worked goal. There wasn't much we were going to do about it. Cook had a really good game that game. Everyone else was quite... Under poor Billy Kirkman actually played okay, and we'll come into why Billy Kirkman was playing shortly. And then in the last game that we did, we got a 90th minute penalty to equalise from their fifth minute penalty. But again, it was a good point because right now we are firmly in a relegation battle, as you can kind of see. We're all just ahead on goal difference of Athen Lido, with a point behind Goitar United and Cumberland Celtic with just a couple more points behind South Gower and Barry. However, I think Barry's probably going to be fine. I don't think they're going to get dragged down into this battle, but from South Gower down, pretty much where we are in terms of this relegation struggle. Now, I did say that we didn't play with Kirkman up uh, at left back. You may also notice in the Barry game, oh, excuse me, we also, we didn't make a, well, McGlagan played there, Spencer played this game. The reason for that is we lost both Goldsworthy and what was the other boy's name? Thomas. We lost both of them the day of the Barry game before the game kicked off. So we made one signing, weirdly to replace both. I didn't know the guy's attributes before we signed him. He just we offered a contract to just start something. I was desperate for a left back. He wanted to be a star player, so we're offering him forty pounds a week. He's twenty years old. He's six foot. He is a left back, but the game he's on trying to tell me to play him up front is a pressing forward, which honestly we may end up doing. He's played one game for us and was god awful. Go figure, but he is currently our first choice left back. The last couple of games we have played Kirkman there, we've moved Dunn out there as a sub as the games went on. As you can see, we've also dropped from the 4 4 2 to a 4 5 1. We were initially playing with Duffy as a number 10, but it just wasn't working. We just weren't getting the ball to Duffy, wasn't getting involved in the games, so we've decided to not do so. Why is Cook now, apparently one of the worst football players to ever exist in our team? So I guess we'll move him to support as well. So we're doing this, we're hoping that Johnson can join the attack while we're going forward. Jack Williams is back. Jay Boyd has been playing pretty well for us, actually. So Boyd and Williams are keeping their place with the two Joneses as the backups on the bench. Aaron Williams just... He's forming the cuts, been okay in that one game, but realistically, in the league, he's just been poor for us this year. He's very much now a bit part, unfortunately. It was amazing last year, but this year he just hasn't kicked on. Uh, Thomas Sadler has been poor recently. Llewellyn's been poor recently. Derek Dunn's been pretty solid for us. Can't really complain on him, but defensively, nobody's really done much for us. Uh, we've spoke with Llewellyn and criticised his form. Thomas Sadler's been winning a lot of headers in the opposition box, but not one has went on target as of yet. 
it's an issue, but we are working on it. And Dunn, who is our centre half on loan, who I don't know if you've actually seen or not, but I think he's have if she's played that many games. But um, he's been hitting our corners and all sorts. But yeah, he's been kind of playing as a no-nonsense fullback during a game, but he's always started at centre-half for us. So that is today's selection that we take on South Gower. And it was essentially a relegation six-pointer today, but I think this game and the three games after this are all against bottom six sides. So realistically, if we can leave with 12 points from 12, we win a very good place in terms of relegation battle this year. And that is what we are aiming to do. We did have a team meeting where we said, look guys, we're playing pish. But I have faith that we can turn it round. They fucking swallowed that shit up. So that is exactly what we've said. It went well. So we're now hoping... I am destroying things. We are now hoping that this can now work for us. The issue with us losing Spencer today through injury... I actually didn't see how long it was for now. Is that McLagan doesn't have pace. And he's not got the strength and the height to be a target man. And we're just not getting the bottom in the box. It's an issue because we're paying him good money to be our first choice striker and we're not really creating chances for him. So we need that to change as well. As we can see why. So he immediately loses the ball. They have put that ball over the top. Done one's a header. Cook to McLagan. Back to Johnson who's lost it though. Cook picks it up again. Cook, play it wide. Play it wide. Play it to fucking go yourself. Cuts it to McLagan! That's not McLagan. That is Shane Dotty Johnson. We are 1-0 up. Three minutes in and I need to pick up the thing I dropped. But straight away, good bit of play, break forward. Johnson doing exactly what we talked to was do with that centre mid attack role where he's breaking the lines, he's running forward, joining in with the centre forward when we're attacking. It's exactly what we needed. 1-0 up. Fucking Mon team. If we can comfortably, or not even necessarily comfortably, but if we can actually pick up the results... Pardon me, against these bottom six sides... A, and try and get like the odd point here or there from the top of the table, we will stand quite a good chance of not getting relegated this year. I was talking during the, the last video, which, you know, you won't see because there's no audio whatsoever, that if things kept going the way it was going, good effort. We may have to start looking for another job to save ourselves from getting sacked, but I would like to stick in Wales. I very much feel that we have a lot of unfinished business here in Wales. But if we can get the chance to stay here another year, I think we'll be taking it. Unless like, a, a really good opportunity came up in Wales. But even then, I'm not going to actively go and apply for jobs at the moment. I'm quite, I won't say happy, but I'm comfortable staying where we are at the moment. Because I feel we can genuinely build on this. Although I thought that last summer and it didn't go to plan. What a shot! Mackenzie Toms with his first goal of the season. Drills it in from outside the box. We have now took the lead 2-0 away from home, but it's actually at home. We're playing in the same stadium this season. Cook, Boyd, out to Toms, takes one touch in and just rockets it. Gates get beat his near post. If that was us, I'd be raging. But yeah, whether or not we can actually start to a proper rebuild, I don't know. Uh, the issue I've came across with us trying to sign players, especially now that we've lost Beb and Thomas up front and we've lost you know Goldsworthy in defence, is... Better players or players who are that good want a lot of money. We we kind of locked out with Beb only wanting like six pounds a week. We, we locked out that we could get a decline in McLagan. We locked out we could get a Dan Jones at twenty who was just out of contract with a club. Again, we've offered him more money than we probably should. Is he good enough to be a starting fullback and a successful side? Probably not. But he'd definitely be a good option. So we're definitely starting to build a team again. But it's whether we can hold on to them next summer. Like we can this summer. We'll need to wait and see. Joe Evans putting in a good force foot so far. Most of the midfield is doing so. Nobody's having a really bad game with the exception of Llewellyn again. Who is playing better than he has been with a 6.6. .6, but when he's averaging like a 6.4 it's not saying much. Our centre have done though with the corner into the box. Can we make it 3 before half time? We're really not good with balls out of the box because that back, Jay Boyd loses it out to it. Lloyd now advances in the left back position. If you just watch them, what they are doing is uh, Carnarvon managed as well. They played really well for the whole game. Like there was no way we were going through. 
we were the, the expected to get B. Oh God, we're so unlucky. Um, they are so unlucky. Sorry. Uh, so Carnarvon were expected to beat us, but that first goal they just passed through us. Whether that's the fact that they have more quality in their team, or the fact that we are just shit defensively, I don't know. But that is now two one. Lowell and loses out of the back post. Let's just watch. He's marking him. Oh, why? He turns his back on the ball, facing his own goal, makes it so much harder to defend, and Lamy just heads that home. That good advantage we had going at half times now has just been halved. I think we're going to have to drop Lowell, and he's just not performing this year. At the moment, anyway. I say like I'm not just signed him, but he isn't performing at all. Good tackle by Thomas Lowell, and ball forward to McLagan, who does take a decent touch, controls it, pass it back to Jay Boyd, who loses out to Lamy. Come on, team! Don't don't lose this to me now. Don't don't do this to me now. I'm just make sure we have audio today, because I couldn't handle recording again with no audio. Good hands, Evans. I think we might bring Nash on at half time, and replace Llewellyn. Whether we play Nash at right back or centre half yet, I'm not too sure. We may put Morgan Sad eh, Morgan Sadler, Morgan Thomas Sadler. Oh, go on, Jack Williams with the third. Eh, when we said we put done left back, we've actually been playing Thomas Sadler at right back if we made subs during a game with Young and Georgievski coming in just replacing the centre half role. So we are used to moving these guys out wide. So it's something we might consider. I actually might bring Georgievski on instead of Nash at half time. Play him as a cover in behind Dunn, who's more of a stopper. So he'll go and try and win the header with Georgievski covering him behind. Johnson get the assist for that goal. But let's make a couple of changes. I'm just not happy with Llewellyn at the moment at all. Bring on Georgievski on a cover roll. You'll be a no-nonsense fullback. I think that is the only change I'm going to make at the moment. But Llewellyn, I think, is going to get dropped. He's just not performing for me just now. Where he should be. There's no doubt he shouldn't. He's got the, the attributes. He's got the quality. But he's just not putting in the performances. When it matters. George Esky though. Good header. Boy though. He's picked up a booking. He's lost out to that. Dunn didn't have his man. Lucky that they've hit that over. Watching Boyd. I don't think Boyd's fitness is great. He does seem to get tired every game we play. No matter if there's a break before the game or not. So we may have to make a change there. We've been playing Alan Jones, a defensive winger. It's as if he's regressed a little as playing as a winger, so we're just playing him in his more natural position when he's came on so far. Dylan Jones hasn't been at his peak from last year either. That is a poor ball to give away. We got lucky that that's been saved, I think. As Lamy puts the ball in, can they get a second? Not if they keep heading like that, they won't. Georgievski to Cook. Thomas Sadler to Johnson. Back to Sadler. Georgievski. Sadler. All the way back to the goalkeeper. Done. Good ball out to Williams. Back inside. Nobody picks that up. And immediately we go under pressure again. What the fuck? How did we not even get a hand to that Evans? As if he just stood there and tried to punch the fucker. Kennedy Cox, watch the keeper here. Oh, come on, man. You could have actually attempted to save that, you know. Jack Williams to McLagan. Williams with the ball in, back posted Boyd. Oh, he's got to do better with that header. The only real striker we can bring on is Aaron Williams. So I don't really want to make that change up front. Boyd's fitness is kind of giving me a bit of concern. So I'm going to bring on Alan Jones as that defensive winger. No, I'm going to keep him as a winger. Fuck it. We'll keep him as a winger, but we'll put him on support more than attack. Dunn is looking pretty tired, but I don't want to make that change yet either. Oh, God. Can we pick up the three points here today? It's been so long. It sounds like, like the second game of the season. We've actually won a game. Good save by Evans. Save should have been making. 
as we are just watching and waiting. Okay, it's Dan Jones this time. The left back with the ball in. In swinger. Doesn't go to anybody, but it does fall to Alan Jones with left footed effort over the bar. Actually, that is a point. We do have one more change we can do. We can try Jones up front. So I'm going to put Jones up front as a pressing forward on defend. We'll move Dunn out to left back, make him a no-nonsense fullback. We will bring on Henry Nash. Swip them to round for my own sanity. As you'll both be on cover. Let's hope this change here can do something for us. Pretty sure that leaves us with one stoppage left, if need be. I don't want to make too many changes. Nash to Cook. Back to Nash. Nash plays the long ball to Toms. Doesn't win the header. Now they're advancing. Oh, that's too easy. Nobody's on Lloyd. Oh, Morgan Sadler misses interception, but good block by Evans. They've now got a corner with 10 minutes remaining. We need out to it. Good, 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 good. Jones. Hits a long ball to Sador. Ball falls to Georgieski. Hits it over and wide. Can we just crawl our way to a 3-2 victory? Going by XG, a draw wouldn't be unfair. And to be honest with the way they've been playing, it certainly wouldn't be unfair. Jones wins the ball. No, it's a long ball. Evans, keep it. Just hold it. Hold it. Right, now head it long. Head it long. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle, ref. Ref, you're fucking me here. Blow the whistle. Ref, it's maybe four minutes. We're at five now. Cook wins the ball, but it's not enough. Papadopoulos with the ball in. Evans grabs. That is exactly what we needed. That is a vital three points for us. So fucking vital. Oh, I hit the wrong fucking thing. Uh, finish this, Cook's to win. Oh my god, I made it worse. I made it worse. Oh, I could turn a positive into a bastard and negative. Oh, I think we're playing the Cardiff Corries next in 15 fucking days. Great. John Davies did come to us complaining that he hadn't been getting the level of game time he should be getting. I basically told him to suck up and fuck off. So there is that. I'm just going to criticise this training before. Oh, I've hit the wrong fucking thing again. Let's praise Boyd. Seven matches without a win in the league. And in that time, though, one, two, three, four. So five out of seven matches we picked up some points, I know, but it's the first one we've had a win. And we'll come back in 15 days when we take on the Cardiff Corries. And we are here now for the Cardiff Corries game. We have made one change to our starting lineup. Henry Nash is coming in at right back. Llewellyn has just been dropped completely. He's just not been playing well. He's just not good enough at the moment frankly he is good enough but just not performing it but other than that so only change today we are going in it's been 15 days since the last game so we are hoping now that we can take full three points once again looking at the stats of the previous game we were probably lucky to leave with the win and it definitely kind of felt that way by the end of the game looking back on it but you know that's in the past we picked up the three points in that game, and that is all that matters at this point in time. Corries are in blue, we are in white. Let's see where this goes for us today. The next episode we record will be the next two games. We may as well just record it, since we're in against just teams who are round about us in the league. We may as well record it. We are in for a relegation battle this year, so that is where we are going to need hope the points are picked up. So that's probably the better games for us to sit and watch. Ones with a shot from wide French with the save, but it's offside, I think. Fuck knows how. Wasn't really sure there. But that's a good bit of play. Why would you even shoot from that angle? 
I know you're offside, but why? You're never scoring from that angle. Jesus. That's a good ball, though. Baker gets a, basically a free header. Two guys on him, and he still manages to win it. But heads it right over the bar. Still nil nil. It's not neither team's performed particularly well. Just need to see what happens. They put the ball in. Evans came out nice. Collect Evans. Just don't fuck up the next bit. Drops it to his feet. Kicks it long. McLagan doesn't win that, but Thomas picks up the second ball. Plays it out to Cook. Plays it out to Jay Boyd on the wing. Boy tries to outpace him, cuts it back to Cook, who loses it, picks up again to Toms. That's a great ball. Williams keeps his man off. Good effort. Good save by French, actually. Good bit of play. Gets us the corner. I think it'll be Jones that's hitting it in as a left back. I know it's D Jones usually Dylan Jones, but that's Dan Jones. Dan Jones with the ball in. Oh, good save. Dunn has got to be doing better there, though. It's got to be scoring that close to the goal. Can we do something a little bit better, though, with the initial ball in from Jones this time? Ball goes in. Pills picked it up now. If you get two defenders there, can one of them win it back? No, we have forced them to cut it back. End of highlight. Okay, we started to play it a little bit better. We've kind of picked up just that little bit. One or two players still not playing too well. I'd say Dan Jones, looking at the, the match ratings, Jones, Johnson, Williams and McLagan. I never actually checked to see if Spencer was fit, so I'm assuming he's not. Because uh, <laughs> we don't have a backup striker on the bench at the moment. I actually would rather be playing Spencer just now because one bonus Spencer has over McLagan is pace. Spencer is a lot faster, so if we're going to play balls over the top, then that could be good. Unlucky there. Boyd might be offside. Flag has went up. Unlucky there. McGlagan probably should have done better than just hitting the man in front of him, but good little bit of play to get us another chance at goal. Going by XG, we should be 1-0 up, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I think that's a done header that's going to sway that XG in our favour. Uh, we can still win, keep working. I'm going to actually have a talk with Williams, with McLagan. Pardon me. And with Johnson, and just say, look, I'm not happy tonight. Motivate the three of them. Let's see if we can get that better performance going into the second half. Jack Williams advancing. May play on the left, but he's right footed. But does seem okay with his left, at least. McLagan keeps on playing bad. We're going to have to put Dan Jones up front or Aaron Williams. Neither, I would say, is ideal for us. But it's probably better if we stick Jones up than Williams at the moment. Williams just hasn't been performing. Johnson's not playing well, and he's now... The Cook has picked up a knock. Uh, if Cook is coming off, then we'll need to stick Hurley on in his place. We'll play him as a ball winning midfielder on support. Port. Johnson hasn't been playing well, so we'll bring on Davies for that role. They are, and I think we will. We'll switch McLagan, and then we'll switch in Kieran Allen. We'll put Dunn out to left back. Kieran Allen will take that centre back slot. Uh, Dan Jones will be a pressing forward. We'll play you on support, not defend. Is anyone else needing to come off? Let's make a few changes here. Let's bring on Dylan Jones as well. We'll play him as a winger. We'll make him attack. But what we will do with him is we will ask him to cut inside with the ball when he gets down to that byline. Keeps a lot of things kind of the same, but maybe just a slight different there. Means we have one more change we can make if needed. Let's just hope that this kind of four-man change will be enough to kind of get us somewhere. Did I change Dunn's role? I did. That is okay. 20 minutes left. Still trying to get the breakthrough in the game. Thomas Sadler out to Boyd. Boyd's probably been one of our key players lately. Quite impressed by the lad. Someday if we could maybe get him in a permanent, we'd maybe keep him. Fucking hell. Elliot Scotcher with a really shit shot from outside the box. It looks like it just trundles in. Evans, nowhere fucking near it. I mean, this type of ball here, Evans is tackled by Dunn. 
Allen goes nowhere near and Evans just falls down in stages. We're now 1-0 down. And this just isn't great. Let's change our instruction. We'll need to be a bit more positive than cautious. Dan Jones, Dylan Jones even with the ball in, goes to nobody. Davies picks up on the outside of the box, calls it back in. Allen's there, but just can't get it on target. Jones isn't playing well. We're going to have to bring on Williams against my better best wishes or best anything. Let's put you on his attack. Just try and get something out of this game. Realistically, like the four game block that we're currently in, we one to twelve out of twelve. I would have took like ten out of twelve if we could get a draw to, but right now three out of six points is just isn't ideal. Done with the long ball. It's not gonna do much. We're not great at set pieces, even though that's what the board want us to play. They want us to play this counter stack and set piece style. We don't have set piece takers, it's pointless. A 1-0 defeat to the Cardiff Corries, a game that we really needed and should have won. I think the next game is against Athen Lido. That keeps us just above the relegation. So it does give us my 11 points from 11 games, which, you know, I have said for me, it feels like as long as you can like, get a point per game by the end of the season, that you'll probably stay out of that zone. But... Right now, I know we've got Affin Lido next, or Affin Lido. Ah, oh, it's just not looking good. I don't know who's after that, actually. At this point, nice to find it. Yeah, no shit. Uh, it's Affin Lido, then it's Goiter United. Who are, looks like they're coming into a bit of form just now. Brrr, that's going to be a tough couple of games. Where is injuries? Injuries, injuries, injuries. Spencer is out with the next strain. He's just returned. Might have him back then for the game against Athen Lido, which would give us an actual striker swap. Which is something. Which is something. But if you like what you see on today's video, then please do leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more of what we're doing. If you want to keep up to date with everything we do, then Discord is a place to do so. There is a link in the description below. We stream on Twitch most Mondays to Fridays, but definitely every Monday, Thursday, Friday. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.